YouTube, what's up? Welcome to the channel. This is the first video I've ever done on this channel. I've scrapped all those. If you've been here before, I appreciate you coming back. A lot of those videos I've done were random Call of Duty Warzone videos. And I decided that I wanted to do, or I wanted to start 2023 with a, uh, almost like a fresh slate and really try to work on the craft of putting out somewhat decent content in, in my mind. Hopefully you view it the same way. So with that being said, if you are new to the channel, I appreciate you stopping by, welcome. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. It really means a lot to me. It helps me to create more content for you guys and push things out as that's one of my goals for 2023. What I wanna discuss with you guys today, not really discuss, but just kinda of give my, my opinion on a game that I've played in the past and it's, the game's been out for uh, however many years, so many years, let's say 10 years or so. 10 years, I'm not, not officially like nine years and a couple months, whatever you want to call it. But 10 years basically, it came out in 2013. And without further ado, here's the game that I'm talking about Path of Exile. Path of Exile. I have a love hate relationship with this game, and I want to tell you why. <sighs> I guess this is going to be more of like a venting in a sense, but also show my love and appreciation for a, a game that, a game that brought about, you know, old feelings of another game that I've played that actually really started me off into the gaming world, and that is Diablo 2. Uh, we could discuss, you know, Diablo 2 in another video or something like that, but the, today we're going to talk about Path of Exile, why I love it, why I hate it, should you be playing it in this new year of 2023? Is it worth it? Uh, I don't know. I don't play it anymore. I haven't played it in maybe five, six years, I would say. And that's another reason why I want to go in and get into this video. Now, if you're unfamiliar with what Path of Exile is, it's an ARPG style game developed by Grinding Gear Games, a company based out of New Zealand. Now, they created this game, like I said, uh, over 10 years ago, and it's definitely built up a, a loyal following and a fan base, uh, myself included. And for those who are fans of ARPG style games, you've definitely heard of this one because it's been sometimes coined or dubbed Diablo, Diablo 2's true successor in a sense, right? Uh, you can you can definitely tell by the style. What is my character wearing? Let me see. I don't know if that's it. Uh, anyways, you could definitely tell by the style and artwork and the basic feel of the game itself, just how similar the way the mechanics and everything else works. Now, Path of Exile, of course, has its own uh, mechanics for gameplay and style, but there you could definitely tell that it was very much inspired, and, and that's no secret. Everybody, everybody that's played it or heard of it Definitely knows that. I'm not groundbreaking news or anything like that. You know, it is it's definitely not the case. But um, the game itself is is fantastic. I love it. I love the feel of the game. I'll go over, you know, my pros and cons of my love and hate relationship with this game. Love the feel of the game. The graphics, the setting, the tone, the music. It's all fantastic. You cannot knock that at all you have you know the music like i said the music the gameplay the style the itemization is very unique and in its own way you get your stash system you got your currency jewels essences a lot of stuff they got a lot a lot a lot of stuff in the game a lot of a lot of gear a lot of items and it sets it sets the tone of what it is that you want to accomplish within the game itself and that's great that is great i love a lot of things about it um there's some things that i don't love about the game for one the complication that they put into this game i understand everybody likes to challenge and everything else you have you know you're really high genius level gamers that love a challenge and 
I would say a game like this definitely puts them to that challenge in, in a sense. I mean, a lot of them just freaking, they, they, they look at it and it's like, it's like those, it's like those guys that, uh, that you see, that you see on YouTube or something like that, where they're completing the, the Rubik's Cube in like under two seconds. We're going <laughs> we're an average person like me. Maybe you, I don't know if you're watching this, I don't know, but definitely a person like me, I'm sitting there looking at the Rubik's Cube like I couldn't finish this in like 10 days. If you even if you, if you gave me directions, if I had a blueprint and a printout of directions on how to finish a damn U Rubik's cube, we'll pretend it's a Rubik's cube right here in my hand. Uh, <laughs> and I, I love I just love games in general. I love the aspect of competition. I'm very competitive in gaming, um, in different aspects of my life and everything else. I love I just love competition, even if I'm not, I'm not the one competing. You know, I don't, I don't, I love watching, watching competition games or whatever, sports, all that stuff. But yeah, this game in itself, when it first came out, I played it since launch. Okay. I had a buddy of mine back in the day. He introduced it to me. He said, Hey, you ever check out this game? And I'm like, nah, what's it called? And he's all Path of Exile. I was like, cool. What's it about? He's all, you ever played Diablo 2? I was like, hell yeah, of course I did. Right. Uh, <laughs> and he's like. Yeah, check it out. It's called Path of Exile, blah, blah, blah. Free to play, all this other stuff. I was like, free to play? Yes. Please sign me up. Launched it. I was like, I was hooked immediately. Hooked. I was like, you can't, you can't, can't ask for anything else as an as a old school ARPG player. Yes. Help me out. So as the, the time went on and everything else, you know, like most M ARPGs, at least for me anyways, you know, you might skip a... Uh, a league reset or two and then try to come back now in the beginning i don't feel like it was so hard to come back to the game okay and this is where i'm building up everything and whatnot i didn't feel it was so hard to come back because they went the way they're they're they run it you know they take certain aspects or they they continue on with certain leagues and bring it into the next the next uh the next league or the next event or the next aspect of the game itself now in the first couple of times you're like okay cool yeah i missed that part or i missed that league and i want to experience it too cool but then you gotta you gotta realize that depending on how many times you've missed the league or how long of a stretch that you've taken a break there's going to be those aspects where you're like, well, what do I do? Well, now I got to learn about this league. I got to learn about this one. I got to learn this new one that they're into right now. And you don't have to necessarily play the league, but yeah, you know, I mean, I don't know what else that you're going to play. What else are you going to play? But I would say, I would definitely say that it has its benefits, especially, like I said, for those geniuses out there that understand and it just boom, snaps on, you know, just snaps into their head so easily. And you got people like me that are like, oh, I, I don't know what I'm doing. Like I log into the game right now, okay? And yeah, I don't know, I don't even know what league it is. I don't even know what is, what's going on. I know how to find a cash shop, that's for sure. Not, not granted, no, they don't, they don't, I know they don't really push it out like that. I know the MTX and all that other stuff. Yeah, I got some MTXs. I don't know how to. Anyway, that's I'm going beyond beyond the point of uh what I'm trying to do this video about. But anyways, one of my my main and biggest gripes about this game because I love the game so much and you know, after taking a break for so long, it's like, yeah, maybe you're like me and you're waiting for the next new MMO to come out and you want something that's you could just jump into without having to worry about being behind because you have a reset every so many months. These are the games that you want to play. Diablo 2. Okay, Diablo 2 Resurrected. Path of Exile. Uh, what, what, what's the other ones? Was it like Torchlight or something like that? Right? Is that, that one of them too? Torchlight? Um, I'm sure there's many, many more that you might play. But yeah, where, where they're going to reset the whole system you start fresh everybody starts fresh in a new league and you could just you could just carry on like nothing ever happened you can enjoy the game you can you know you can party up with people if you want to you can party up with friends you can meet old friends you can, you can make new friends whatever you want to do right whatever your heart desires whatever your goal is at the end of the game okay so here's the thing you're playing the game 
or whatever particular reason that you want to play the game. Whether you're killing time, you want to find a mirror of Calandra, you want to, you know, for the first time ever, you want to find a headhunter belt or what's the, what, what's that what's that one because I, I was trying to come back in the game but I, I didn't but then i was reading up on some other things it's like a mage what's what is it mage something uh let me know let me know somebody let me know down in the comments it says mage mage blood or some something like that anyways I'm trying to find like a, a very unique item and stuff like that whatever you wanted to do in the game but at the same time you don't know how to play the game anymore because you just have the basics down you gotta, you're gonna run maps all day, but then you go to your map device, you run a map. Then not only do you, are you gonna do your maps, you gotta juice them, right? You gotta juice those maps up, right? That's what they call it, right? Juicing, right? You gotta juice them up. You gotta, you gotta freaking add sprinkles to it. You got to, uh, whatever, fucking, I don't, I don't, I don't even know. <laughs> you gotta bedazzle these things. You gotta freaking throw some fresh beats on these things. I don't oh man it just becomes complicated and we're just talking about the atlas the atlas okay there's like some other things where they're talking about freaking what is it rogue missions or i don't even know heists you got a heist you got the main storyline that you're trying to go through you know then we got you don't worry about your pantheons you got your alvas you know you got you got to do your alva stuff you could do your freaking jute. They're all right here, right? Your beast Aries. You want to run all that? Bruh, too much. My anxiety levels are through the roof. Okay? If you have anxiety issues, do not play this game. You can. I am not want to tell anybody don't play. I oh, even got Nick. Oh my gosh. Why did I even forget? Look, you right? Visit the mining camp and you, do, you go delving delving into the deep mines oh my gosh terrible i can't do it mm, too much okay maybe some people that uh like i said you guys are geniuses hey props to you i just want to show appreciation for a game that i love based on the mechanics how it looks and everything else i just think that there's way too much i can never come back to it i can't my anxiety levels, my blood pressure, okay? As I'm getting older, <laughs> I don't even have high blood pressure. I hope I don't have blood, high blood pressure. Anyways, it's getting too much, too much. That's enough. Stop bringing extra stuff over that I, normal average people like myself just cannot understand. Unless we played the whole game throughout the whole stretch, never missed a league. You know what I'm saying? Like 24 seven, three six five on the grind don't get me started on you know the builds and everything else where's the, where's the skill tree pass the skill tree okay so if anybody's never seen this game before don't get too overwhelmed i mean even though i've seen the game before i'm still i still get overwhelmed i played the game off and on for over however many years right six five six seven years i don't even care <laughs> i'm getting depressed looking at this damn thing okay you got your skill tree however the skills that you're doing reflecting on the items that you're using based on the build of your character which actually doesn't is it sounds more complicated if you don't know what i'm talking about if you never played the game or you're just hanging out it's actually not as hard now i know that there was uh one league where we had the what was it the cluster the cluster fucks whatever you want to call them then they branch out into a whole new freaking thing over here and you're just like whoa that's you know, i mean it was some some were cool some were not so cool it's like it's like i'm getting prepared to to start a job for the first time every time i try to come back to this game man that's just I, that's my opinion <laughs> i you know <laughs> i'm gonna leave it at that i love the game okay should you play it in 2023 it's up to you what i what i advise you to play it maybe just to get a taste of it but there's a lot to do if you have the time check it out fantastic game bravo <laughs> grinding gear games you guys you guys did what blizzard could not do with diablo 3. now i'm not gonna play this game uh ever again i can't i would love to but i i, I even have the time to 
But it takes the heart, the passion, the dedication to even attempt to play this game. Okay. I'm going to wait for Path of Exile 2. I am not getting my hopes up on that game because I'm going to be honest. I don't. I wish it would be like a, a standalone and not kind of like breaking off of Path of Exile 1. Like they just created a whole new game. You know, this could sit by itself, whatever. Ah. If, I mean, if that's the case, but from my understanding, it's just going to be like a kind of like a runoff of Path of Exile 1. Now, that's fine. Everybody, th Maybe it just starts clean, just like how Path of Exile started, and everyone can start fresh. I think you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, <laughs> hit me up down in the comments, and I'll go ahead and, and I'll try to explain myself further in it. Uh, should you play this game? You never played the game before, ever. You just found it. You just found the channel. Said, hey, what's up? Hey, just found the channel. Hit that like and subscribe button. I'd appreciate it, guys. Should you play this game 2023? Yes and no. Yes, just if you want to try. It's free. Can't beat that, right? Give it a shot. Maybe you like it. Maybe you're you're a freaking absolute genius. Congratulations. Uh, me, myself, I'm just your average kind of gamer. I'm maybe I'm above average. I don't know. Nobody's ever told me. But uh, yeah, uh, play it. You Will you enjoy it? I don't know. We'll see. Am I going to play it? Hell no. I don't want to. I do, but I don't. I miss the game. I miss I I love it. I even went back to Diablo 2 Resurrected. Had a blast. Played for the whole season. Whole ladder. Fantastic time. Path of Exile, you have my heart. I'm hoping POE 2 uh comes out soon. Maybe this year, right? Every every, every game that every game developer wants to tell you, oh yeah, yeah, yeah we're gonna come out with the game. We're gonna come out with the game. When? Give me a date. Stop. Stop blowing smoke up and you know what, okay? Bring out the game. A lot of us out here want to play. I'm not trying to knock the game. That's not what this video is about. That's my gripe. I had to get that off my chest because, I don't know. That's just, that's just something I wanted to, to talk about. Start out this new year, 2023. Appreciate you guys. Hey guys, thank you very much. If you made it this far into the video, drop a like. Hit that subscribe button. Comment down below if you want to. Let me know what you guys think of this of this video. Let me know what you think of Path of Exile. Do you still play it? Did you play it before? Are you planning to play Path of Exile 2 whenever it does come out? Let me know. Okay, guys? Till next time. Thanks again.